Hello and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II and I am the Digital Painter. Welcome back once again. And uh, let me begin by saying a uh, big hearty and thank you, thank you to Larry, our newest, uh, our newest patron. I'm not sure I mentioned him on the last video, so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned him uh, this week. Uh, we are moving ever so closer, ever so closer to our first goal on Patreon, which is uh, $100 a month, and that essentially covers all of the costs uh, with the hosting of the videos, the ability for people to download them. We're at $54, $54 out of 100 right now. So um, really excited, and remember, uh, if we hit that goal, $100 a month, after the first $100 comes in, I'm celebrating uh, by creating a 5 by 7 digital watercolor uh, that each supporter that is part of that first 100 will receive via mail an actual hard copy version. Uh, I already know who I'm getting my printings through and whatnot, so very excited about that. So uh, so if you're looking to support an artist, would love it. Now, having said that, why don't we uh, move on? This video is coming a couple days late. My daughter had a dance recital this weekend, actually today, and I had my last soccer game today, uh, so there was prep for that, and then today was a very busy day, and so we finally finished that up. So we are a couple days later than I usually do. I like to get these out to my Patreon supporters uh, a week early. Uh, this is coming more like five days early, so I apologize, supporters. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button, or even better, head over to the Digital Painter Dot com and uh, sign up for our newsletter, which I've been very slack about, but I'm actually going to be improving that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, a lot of things have been going on. So this week we are going to actually continue the Patreon or the Patreon, the Procreate. Everything starts with a P this week. Uh, we're going to continue with our Procreate. You can see I've got it up right now. And it's uh, this is actually a digital rendering for this month uh, that I'm working on for my supporters. It's my little, I don't know what he is. Uh, he's a robot guy of awesome, but I'm doing a procreate version this month for my Patreon supporters. So, uh, all right. As I was saying, uh, we did the actions and the adjustments last week. This week, we're going to move into our selection tool and our, uh, uh, transform tool. Okay. I had to think of the word that I was looking for. Let's start with the selection tool. As you can see, when we hit the selection tool, it turns blue and, you know, nothing else. Oh, side note, found my stylus. This is the Sensu brush. If anybody's looking for a cool one that's got a bristle end, I love this brush. Okay. So at the very bottom, you'll see kind of very fadey. There's a plus, a minus, and a couple of other things. So the first thing you need to do is actually make a selection. And what I'm going to do real quick... So I'm going to add a layer so I don't mess up my current image. I'm actually going to turn those off. And why don't we draw something real quick? We'll just, uh, I don't know. I got to get back used to this stylus. Very rough. Actually, let me switch because I'm not painting, I'm drawing. Still going to use the stylus, but I want to use the rubber end. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's say we've got some very quick outline. We'll call this guy Fred. He's my squiggly guy. Say hi, Fred. Hi, I'm Fred the squiggly guy. Now let's say that we don't like the nose and we want to adjust it. So I hit my selection tool and I start to draw around the nose and then I let go. And so we have a dotted, a little dotted line. That means that area is selected, okay? Now we'll be able to do things with it in just a second, but before we move on to the transform tool, I wanted to show you a couple other things. You can add to that selection by hitting the plus, and let's say we add this, and we add this. Now I hit plus both times, okay? All three of those selections are added. If we hit the subtraction button, and we select this area, 
and subtract. I'm sorry, you have to hit the plus to actually add the section, and so I did. So why don't we come in here and we'll actually add that section. There we go. And then let's subtract a little bit. So we're going to select over here and hit the subtraction. Okay. So you can add and subtract to your selections using the plus and minus. Okay. The the one that I'm hitting right now with the two like little arrows pointing at each other reverses the selection. So right now selected is everything in white. You hit that button. Now the things that were white now have the diagonal lines and they're not selected and everything else is selected. And then of course you can clear your selection with X. Okay. This tool is very helpful when you need to make adjustments. Now a quick note on that as an artist. Okay. Right. You want to try and do those adjustments in your pencil sketch before you move into painting. If you do it once you move into painting, you're going to get white areas. So for example, um, let me grab a paintbrush. Let's grab that paintbrush and pick a color that's not black. So we come in here and we started. Actually, we'll do it on a different layer because that's something else I want to show you guys. Uh, we'll add a layer. And I paint underneath my pencil sketches, obviously. So we'll come in here and paint a little bit. Hi, I'm Squiggly Guy. My name is Fred. If you like Squiggly Guys, then you like me. Okay, so our Squiggly Guy has a semblance of a skin tone here. Give his neck some skin tone, too. All right, so there's a guy with skin tone, okay? So now when we make our selection, we'll grab this area here, for example, okay? So we've got that selection. So right now, if I switch to my paintbrush and we change our color to red, and I try and paint on the squiggly lines, because right now what I'm doing, and you can't see, um, but I'm moving my stylus right where the top of his head is. And you see nothing's going on, but if I drag it straight down, you'll see once we hit an area, there it is. It will mark it in the area that is selected. So to get back to your selection, whoops, let's get back to my selection. There we go. And then go back to our paintbrush. Okay. Now, we have our selection done, right? And you're probably thinking, how do I get back? See how I just added my bar back to the bottom? What you need to do is you need to hold and press on the selection button, and it'll bring it back. So if I've been painting in here, so let's, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, right? And I've been, oops, I switched to white by accident. There we go. I came in here and I was doing a little painting and I realized I wanted to go up a little more. I'd press and hold on the S and now I would come do another circle, hit the plus button. Now I can go back to my paintbrush and continue painting. So when is this really useful? Well, let me show you. I'm going to undo all that pink. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like pink. Pink's baller, but I don't want it for what we're doing here. So many undos. There we go. Okay, so say you want to really focus on painting an area without worrying about going outside the lines. So we grab our selection, and I'm just going to select right at the pencil here. Now, I'm not going to do the full face, but you could easily select the full face, right? So now we can come in here with our pink, and we don't have to worry about going outside the lines right so that's nice and then we could come back in and reselect if we wanted to or release the selection so now we've added this red little bottom of his mouth area okay all right so there are some other things you can do with the selection tool though not just selecting but you can then transform too so i'm going to grab his nose i'm going to try and stay pretty true just his nose, pretty close. And I'm going to hit the little arrow next to it. This is the transform tool. All right, first thing you'll see is you'll see all of these capture points, uh, eight of them, uh, around the nose. And if I were to, for example, touch the bottom left corner and drag, 
Ah, now you're thinking, oh, but the pencil didn't move. You're right, because I'm only selecting the layer that I'm currently on, all right? So I'm selecting the paint layer. So let's undo that, okay? So I'm only adjusting the paint layer. So I could bring this back and bring this down, okay? What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna undo, undo, and undo. We still have our selection, but we're gonna switch layers. Selection is still there. We can hit our little arrow transform, and now we're adjusting the pencil. Now, by pulling the one of the eight handles, you're adjusting the dimensions. If you just press and hold the middle, you can move it around, okay? So you can adjust the size, the shape, you can move it around. On the bottom here are some other tools, okay? First we have magnets on and magnetics off. Don't worry about that right now, we'll get to that soon. The next one flips it left and right. The next one flips it up and down. The next one rotates it in 45 degree increments all the way around. Wee! Oops, ooh, 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 going back. The next one, I believe, does a full center. Let me get out of it. Yes, uh, maybe, let me see. A quick note, if you ever wanna go back to your selection, or at least where your original selection location was, so I'm gonna back that up, all you have to do is, the previous selection is press and hold the S, okay? That's got to be, but that doesn't look center. Hmm. I'm going to have to play with that one a little more. Oh, fit to canvas. Okay, I'm not worried about that then. Okay. All right. So that's fit to canvas. Not even going to worry about that. Now, if you wanted to do multiple layers, one of the things you can do is actually combine two layers like that. If we press and hold S, it'll go back. You can see the original selection. And then we can go into the transform and you can adjust both of them. Now you're probably wondering, how am I doing this right now? This is two fingers, okay? Uh, and by pressing and moving them around, you move it and by pinching or expanding, you reduce or increase the size of the object, okay? In proportion, all right? Okay, undid that, good. So you can see where this can become useful, especially if you're doing you know, the human figure, you wanna adjust the eyes, the eyes aren't in the right location, you wanna get them at the right level, uh, move them up and down. All of this can be done with the selection tool on Procreate. The selection and transformation tools were wonderful when they were implemented. They've allowed uh, allow me to do so much more, and so it always excites me uh, when I'm working with them. I'm gonna do a couple of undos here, oops. There's my undo button. The other thing then is I'm gonna deselect everything. Okay, oops. Let's undo all this. Oi. Because what I wanna show you here so say you don't have anything selected. So you're noticing nothing is selected. I haven't used the selection tool, but you hit the transform tool. It selects the entirety of the image for you to adjust, okay? So I'm gonna go back just a couple here because the other thing, and remember quick undos is two finger taps on your screen. All right, there we go. All right, so let's do a transform. You can see how easy it is to adjust. Okay. And again, if you wanted to use two layers, you would need to combine them. So we combine and then very quickly hit the transform tool and you can see I can transform the entire image. Maybe I feel like it wants to be a little short and stout. There we go. 
All right, so we have gone in, we've looked at the selection tool, we've looked at the transform tool, how they can be used together. We have hit all of our tools in the top left-hand side of Procreate. Next week, we'll start moving into the big ones, the brush tool, uh, then we'll do the smudge tool, then we'll do the eraser tool. We're going to have a lot of fun next week playing with Procreate. If you have any questions, of course, you can send me an email at terry.chikimiak at thedigitalpainter.com or head over to the digital painter uh, leave a comment in this video and i'm more than happy to answer them uh, also going to be putting up an extra video this week i think uh, or a, it might just be a blog post uh, somebody asked a question in one of my previous videos and i i i, th I, I want to answer it and i want it so that other people can be able to see it as well so keep an eye out for that uh, again if you're not already a patreon uh, supporter would love your support but if you don't have the, the money for that, no worries. These videos will continue to come out every week. All right. I hope you're really enjoying your drawing. And again, if you are a Patreon supporter, you look forward to our little robot guy who will be coming to you by the end of the month. Also, Patreon supporters, I will indeed be doing a uh, Patreon, uh, if you're at the right level, a Patreon uh, webinar this month. So uh, it'll be coming at the end of the month. So look forward to that. All right. Thank you, guys. Again, I appreciate all of the support you guys give me, whether it's just watching the videos or sending me an email. Or uh, if you're on Twitter, don't forget, a digit, at a digital painter. Um, you guys make all of this worthwhile. So I hope that, uh, and I wasn't going to bring this up, but in the face of tragedy that uh, happened uh, last night in uh, Orlando, I hope that you take the time to uh, tell your loved ones uh, how much they mean to you. Because, uh, you know, very, we have very short time on this uh, big old rock that we live on. So take care of yourselves and keep on drawing.